ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम श्री गुरु संहिता द लेजेंड ऑफ द सुप्रीम गुरु ओरिजिनल इन मराठी या श्री गुरुचरित्रा बाय श्री गंगाधर सरस्वती कॉम्पोजिशन इन संस्कृत बाय इस होलीना श्री 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 वासुदेवानंद सरस्वती ऑल्सो नोन एज तम्बे महाराज दिस ट्रांसलेशन इनटू इंग्लिश इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय डॉक्टर नरसिंह स्वामी बनावरा चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर Tivikrama Bharati seeking refuge with the Supreme Guru and exhibition of the Vishwarupa of the Supreme Guru. Salivations to Lord Ganapati, Salivations to Lord Dattatraya. 1. Namadharaka said, O Master, O Guru Siddha, what happened next? Lord, please describe the story to me in detail. 2. Hearing his words, Guru Siddha said, My child, O Namadharaka, this is a new and strange story. Listen. 3. Previously, I had told you about Tivikrama Bharati, the ascetic who lived in the village of Kumsi. He used to criticize the Supreme Guru, saying that he was an ostentatious sannyasi. Four, the highly knowledgeable and scholarly Supreme Guru, who is the witness for all the happenings in the world, decided that he wanted to see this ascetic for himself. He notified the king of the criticism that the ascetic was heaping upon him and said that he had decided to go and see that ascetic. Five. The Supreme Guru said, "O King, once I want to go to the village of Kumsi, where this ascetic Tivikrama Bharati, who has been criticizing me, lives." Six. Hearing the Supreme Guru's words, the king was very happy. He made all the arrangements for for the journey. The disciples dressed and decorated the Supreme Guru in regal attire. Elephants, horses, chariots, and foot soldiers were all made ready. Seven. Arrangements were made to seat the Supreme Guru in a bedecked planicule. The Supreme Guru ascended and sat down in the planicule. A grand and resplendent procession began, accompanied by music as well as Vedic chants. Eight, with great pomp and fanfare, the Supreme Guru reached the village of Kumsi. The ascetic Vik- Tivikrama Bharati was engaged in the worship of Lord Narasimha at that time. Nine, the ascetic worship to the Lord comprised of only a mental worship. Every day the image of Lord Narasimha used to remain steadfast in Tivikrama Bharati's mental realm until the puja was complete. On that day however the Lord did not remain steadfast in the ascetic mind. 10 The ascetic began to wonder as to why this was happening. He said, "O Lord Narasimha, why are you disregarding me so? All my penance has gone in vain. Why are you ignoring me?" 11 I have worshiped you for a very long time. Then why are you disregarding me? What shall I do now? All my penance has been destroyed. How much ever I try, my mind is wand- wandering away from the Lord. It is not becoming stable in meditation. Twelve. Meanwhile, during his mental worship of the Lord, the ascetic Trivikrama Bharati saw in his mind, mind's eye, that the Supreme Guru had arrived on the banks of the river with a big entourage. He began to have the same vision again and again. 13 all the people who accompanied the supreme guru in fact the whole army began to look like staff welding ascetic the ascetic tivikrama bharati was extremely surprised to see this he went outside to see the incredible view 14 prostrating himself before the entourage of ascetics the ascetic tivikrama bharati noticed that even the elephants and other animals in the entourage seemed to look like staff welding ascetic 15 It was a sea of ascetics. Every creature there looked like an ascetic, with the same form and feature. When this was the case, he could not understand who was superior and who was inferior. Who is the true supreme guru? Who are the others? He could not understand anything. Sixteen. Tivikrama Bharati became dumbf- dumbfounded. He began to salute the ascetic from where he was standing. He said, "O supreme guru, you are the very manifestation of the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva." You are the guru for the whole world. Seventeen. I cannot seem to identify you. I do not know what to do now. The strong web of Maya has enveloped me completely. O oh Lord, have mercy on me and reveal your true form to me. Eighteen. O oh Lord, I am unable to recognize your true form and essence. O oh, O oh King of the Gurus, please have mercy on me. I am not able to examine you with these mortal eyes. Nineteen. You are spread all over in every particle of every physical being here. You are the supreme guru, Sri Narasimha Saraswati. O oh Lord, however, every creature here looks like a Narasimha Saraswati to me. Twenty. How can I show my face to anyone now? Whom shall I salute now? I have now realized that 
you are the very manifestation of the trinity brahma vishnu shiva oh lord please reveal to me your true form today thus tivikrama bharati begged the supreme guru in many ways 21 then the supreme guru said you have mentally worshiped lord narasimha for a long time now you will now experience the fruits of that worship saying those words the supreme guru granted his vishwarupa that is divine universal form to tivikrama bharati 22 obtaining darshan of the supreme guru tivikrama bharati said oh lord you are the deliverer of the whole world that is why you have in- incarnated on this earth in order to deliver people like us you have shown shown me your true spiritual form today 23 saying thus he praised the supreme guru with several hymns and prostrated himself before the supreme guru pleased with him the supreme guru immediately assumed his original form 24 everyone in the entourage began to look in their original forms among the sea of people tivikrama bharati saw the great supreme guru who was wearing the half crescent moon and who was dear to all his devotees and was filled with joy 25 the supreme guru addressed the astounded tivikrama bharati every day you have been ridiculing me as an ostentatious saint i have come here to directly ask you on that same issue 26 you worship lord narasimha mentally every day you have obtained fame all over the world as the ascetic who does such kind of worship every day 27 so what is pride tell me now in detail the lord vishnu resides in your mind as well has he inspired you to speak such things 28 hearing those words tivikrama bharati saluted the supreme guru and said o lord i am an ignorant mess of a man i am a fool o great guru please forgive me 29 you are the very manifestation of the trinity brahma vishnu shiva you are the deliverer of the whole world i have been blindfolded by the thick cloth of ignorance and i have been pushed into the web of this maya that is illusion 30 i have completely drowned in the sea of ignorance the cloth of maya that is illusion and moha that is passion has blindfolded me i am not cognizant of true knowledge and i have not realized the ultimate truth i am like a blind man in the daytime 31 O Lord now have obtained your darshan you are the divine light please forgive this servant of yours O Lord please consider me to be to be yours and rescue me 32 Lord ignorance is the ocean the karma from my previous life forms the life forms the waves in that ocean i am struggling in that ocean this ocean of life is very deep without any visible means of support i am not even able to see the other shore 33 O Lord O benevolence personified if you put me on the boat of knowledge and turn on the winds of your mercy then i might reach the other shore which is realizing your true nature 34 when you bestow your mercy upon someone how can the person ever have any sins or sorrows anymore such a person can win over all the faults brought on by the age of kali and be blessed with realizing the ultimate truth 35 i have heard the ancient story of the mahabharata in detail lord krishna displayed his vishwarupa that is divine universal form to his disciple arjuna and blessed him 36 today you have granted me darshan of your true form and have blessed me o supreme guru o bhaktavatsala friend of the devotees your legend are infinite 37 o guru of the world praise be to you praise be to you you deliver us from the ocean of life o Guru Narasimha Saraswati You are the very incarnate of the Trinity Brahma Vishnu Shiva 38 Without expending any effort on my part I have been blessed just by the darshan of your holy lotus feet You have warded off all the differences among among us so easily It is as if I have obtained the divine chintamani 39 and 40 Just as the celestial river Ganga came down to the earth to emancipate the sons of Sagara from the bondages of this life just as Lord Krishna himself accepted the hospitality of Vidura and liberated him from all bondages similarly O Supreme Guru O Bhaktavatsala you have arrived here and have emancipated me from this illusory world how can i ever describe your infinite legends that have accumulated bound, boundless fame 41 thus Tivikrama Bharati praised the Supreme Guru with various hymns and chants. Then the Supreme Guru granted him several boons that dispel all sorts of illusion and confusions. 
1842, the Supreme Guru said, O oh, Tevikrama Bharati, I am pleased with your devotion. May you attain salvation with no more rebirths. 43. You have realized the ultimate truth. You have attained the ultimate union with the Lord. Thus blessing him, the Supreme Guru got ready to return to his original abode. 44. Telling Tivikrama Bharati to remain in the village of Kumsi, he returned to Gandharvanagara along with the king and his army in the blink of an eye. 45. Guru Siddha said, O Namadharaka, the Supreme Guru's legends are without boundaries. The Supreme Guru appeared in a human form to the common eye even though he is the very incarnate of the trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. 46. The Supreme Guru is the very Supreme Spirit. Whoever refuses to accept this truth will suffer in hell for seven lifetimes. 47. The Guru is Lord Brahma. The Guru is Lord Vishnu. The Guru is Lord Shiva. Thus state all the Vedas, Shastras, Puranas and the other sacred scriptures. 48. Therefore, all good people should accept the fact that the Supreme Guru is the very manifestation of the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. So, May all the people attain devotion in the lotus feet of the Supreme Guru as per my words. 49. I have thus established on this earth a reservoir of divine and delicious nectar that is the devotion to the Supreme Guru. This nectar can easily be obtained by one and all. May the intelligent person drink this divine nectar that is the legend of the Supreme Guru and become blessed. 50. Thus, Gangadhar San Saraswati elaborately praised the, praised the great legend of the Supreme Guru. Whoever listens to this great story with profound devotion shall easily attain all the four Purushastras, that is, pursuits of life. Thus ends, ends chapter 24 in the Jnana Kanda in the dialogue between Guru Siddha and Namadharaka in the text known as The Legend of Narsimha Saraswati, authored by Gangadhar San Saraswati in the Marathi language as Sri Guru Charitra and referred to as Sri Guru Samhita, composed in the Sanskrit language by His Holiness. Sri Vasudevananda Saraswati Om Tatsat Mantra Hina Kriya Hina Bhakti Hina Kshamapate Om Sri Krishna Arpanamastu